Hey guys, so what we're going to do here is we're going to deal with word problems that have multi ve multiple vectors acting upon something. So our first one is going to be a cute little soccer player. Okay, so a soccer player is running forward at 7 meters per second, kicks the ball with a velocity of 30 meters per second at 10 degrees. So let's deal with the little player running. Now, we're going to assume the player's running on the ground, not in the air, right? So we're going to assume that the ground is flat. Okay, and um, the picture, and they told us the direction that the player was running is 7. Okay, so sometimes we need a picture. So X, so if you look here, she's running at 7, and then Y, because she's not running or jumping in the air, her y value is zero. So this is the force or the components of the girl. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the ball. And this is where it says 30 meters per second at an angle of 10. So from the other word problems, remember it was the magnitude, which was 30. Because it's x, it's cosine of 10 degrees. Now you're going to put this in the calculator. And like I stated before, please make sure your calculator is in degrees. And I get 29.5. We also have to find the y component because the uh, soccer ball um, did get some lift at 10 degrees. So we've got to do the 30 sine 10. And that's going to give us 5.21. So now what we're going to do is combine our x's and our y's. So the girl's x was 7, and the ball's x was 29.5. We're going to add those together and get 36.5. Now, the girl didn't go anywhere off the ground, but the ball did. I can add that, if that impresses you, I can add those. So here is our order pair, 36.5 and 2.1. So the question is, what is the resultant speed in the direction of the kick? So what we're going to do is we've got to find the magnitude. So 36.5 squared plus 5.21 squared. You're going to put this in the calculator, and you're going to get roughly 36.9. Okay. Now we've got to find our direction, our angle. So inverse tangent, just like before, y over x, so 5.21 over 36.5. Now because we're in quadrant 1, we don't have to add anything into here, and we get 8. 0.12 degrees. And that is it. Okay, not too bad. Yes, it's a little bit more steps, but you have to take each thing, um, component into, um, um, into play. So now, number two. Maggie is pulling a sled with a force of 275 newtons by holding its rope at 58 degrees. Now, here's where we're going to have to pay attention to the graph. Okay. Notice, and I'm going to redraw this. So number two, it looks like, like that. Here's the ground. It's 58 degrees. I need this angle. And I'm going to change my color. There's a cute pink color. So I need to figure out this angle right here. And do you see how we're short of 180 degrees? So what I'm going to have to do is 180 minus 58. Okay. And I get 122. So now we have to find the force um, that Maggie's pulling this uh, sled. So x equals... And how much was the force to have 275? Okay, so this would be 275 cosine 
58. Okay. And I got negative 145.7. Okay. We also need the y because notice she was pulling up and over. So we're going to repeat the same process but with sine this time. And I got 233.3. Now, her little brother is pushing the sled with a force of 322 newtons. Notice in this direction. So let's draw, redraw another picture of her brother. And notice he's pushing it in this direction. 320. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful here. Is his x 320? or negative 320 and I hope you said negative 320 because we're headed in that direction and it says that her brother was just pushing the sled and wasn't raising it or anything so this time I guess y is 0 okay so here's Maggie and this is her brother Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add all of our x's together, so negative 145.7 plus negative 320. And I get negative 465.7 and 233.3 plus 0 is 233.3. Okay, so we have, I need some space, negative 465.7 and 233.3. Okay. We got to find our magnitude. Please, because we definitely have those negatives, you must put parentheses around because if not, you're going to get a big old error message, and I don't know about you, but those ruin my day. So if I put this in, my magnitude comes out as 520.8. Now we've got to find our direction. Inverse tangent of y over x. Now, the one thing we got to go figure out is what quadrant this little guy is. So negative and positive puts me right there. So I now need to attach 180 degrees. Okay, and you're going to type this in. Again, there's my negative. And I get 153.4 degrees. I didn't state before, but here's my answer. Magnitude and angle. Okay. Now, the last question. Get me some paper because we need our paper. We have three vectors. I know what you're thinking. Holy smokes, how much fun are we going to have? But we're going to take these three at a time. Okay. Still apply the same stuff, but three at a time. So here's my force one. And I'm going to just try to do my best to draw it right. So it says 70 degrees and 8. Right, so 70 degrees and 8. We're going to do the same thing. So 8 cosine 70. And y equals 8 sine 70. So you're going to put those into your calculator. I get 2.7. And I get 7.5. Now we're going to repeat for force 2. Okay, so here is where we got to make sure we get that right and correct angle. So we got to go from here. Notice I'm short. So 180 minus 40. So it's going to be 140 degrees. 
So now we're going to do x equals 6 cosine of 140 and y equals 6 sine 140. Okay, put this in the calculator. I get negative 4.6 and 3.9. And we still have one more. And this comes from here by 20. And this is 4. Now notice this and this is 180 plus a little bit more. So this time will be 180 plus 20, which will give us 200. Now we get x equals 4 cosine of 200. We're going to do y equals 4 sine 200. This one comes out to be negative 3.8 and negative 1.4. Okay. So, like we did before, just this time we have 3. We're going to add all of our x's. So, 2.7 plus a negative 4.6 plus a negative 3.8. When I do add all that up, I get negative 5.7. We're going to repeat it for the y's. So 7.5, 3.9, and a negative 1.4. And that adds up to 10. How lovely. So negative 5.7 and 10. So we're going to find our magnitude. Negative 5.7 squared plus... 10 squared. We're going to throw this into our calculator and get 11.5. And then we're going to find our angle. Inverse tangent, y over x. And notice here if I graph this, negative, positive, I'm in quadrant 2, so I'm going to have to add 180. And when I do that, I get 119.7 degrees. Okay, I hope this helps, and I wish you luck on your journey.